Hi, I'm Bob Morabito from Seacraft in Auckland. We're here today to have a look through the new Haynes Hunter SF600 LE. Make yourself at home, come aboard. The 600 LE is one of our most popular models with a good balance of cockpit to cabin ratio, bunks big enough and long enough you can sleep in, and enough facilities that you can option it up with electric toilet and courtesy curtains, so to speak right through to the spacious cockpit area, um, roughly in a 70-30 split, which gives you most of the room in the cockpit for all your daytime activities. We've developed the back of the 600 to have the wide seats split into two bins, which afford you the extra seating, as well as the ability to take the squabs off and let the seats disappear under the back of the boat in which case you're going to end up with considerably more cockpit space. Then with the bolsters left behind, good place to be fishing, to lean against, and of course giving you good access to your bait station and ski pole which is at the back of the boat. While we're down here, the two rear backrests lift up to give you a ton of storage space in the back and one of the most enlightening features is the battery where traditionally batteries and isolator switches are all left close to the floor which are getting the wash of whatever water's rushing around. Here at the Haynes we lift the batteries off the floor and everything's up nice and high. You also end up with the application of being able to blow a air mattress up in the back. Should you decide to stay overnight you can sleep a couple of people in the back and of course into the cabin with your uh, infill squab in the cabin, you've got a good facility there for sleeping mum and dad or, or the kids or whatever. The boat's available with a back-to-back -back seat option as we have in the standard boat and a swivel helm seat for the skipper which is on a rise and fall um, shock absorber and has the ability to go not only up and down but also forward and back. Um, when you're driving long distance and preferring to stand as a lot of folks are, the ability to have the helm chair slide back to give you some more room to move and then slide the seat forward when you want to sit down. Now of course everybody knows how well the Haynes rides so most of the time you will be sitting down. Now, moving forward into the mid and front section of the boat, um, there's never enough storage in boats so on the 600 the little wet locker that we have built into the floor is another handy area which is able to hold some ice, keep your fish in, some dry ice if necessary, or of course you can use the rear bins at the back. This locker slips back into place and then we can go into the front cabin. Now the front cabin is bunks long enough that you can sleep full length. We have an infill squab that goes into the uh, midsection to effectively make like a double berth and the other nice thing about the 600 is under the middle squab you've got the ability to put in a chemical toilet if required or the electric toilet which is um, a popular option for a lot of people to complement that we end up running a courtesy curtain across the front of the cabin which ends up being a comfortable area to use the loo go to sleep somebody doesn't want to be involved in the fishing for the day um, it's a nice comfortable area now I mentioned storage again because we traditionally a lot of boats have got the front bunks with no storage underneath it's part of the buoyancy system of the boat Now we have enough buoyancy in the port and starboard um, buoyancy chambers running down the back of the boat so that any excess gear you want to store lift up your hatch locker and you've got good area underneath where you can be putting the mask, the flippers, the snorkel, or perhaps the stuff that you don't want to use all the time, but at least it's on board and you know where it is when you want it. That's available on both sides as well as the front section of the boat. Also, you've got your back, back, uh, back rest up in the cabin, convenient and functional, as well as quite good head storage. But if the day is good, this is the last place you want to be. Out the back with a rod, that's where, you, that's where the action is. Now, we're at the back of the boat. A um, couple of the main options here, the 
Haynes 600 bait station. It's nice and wide, set at the right height, and drains conveniently into the well and will end up getting a decent bit of wash. Got a good place here for your knives and bits and pieces. And, and one of the nice features of this, when the bait board lifts out, often bait boards, what do I do with this? This is hard to get rid of and store it. So we've put removable stainless legs on it. So once you slip the legs out, the bait station is able to be stored comfortably out of the way. And of course, if you want to take the fish bait off it, keep it nice and clean, there's a little bit of a picnic table at the back as well. Now, once that bait station is out, kids decide they want to go and have a biscuit, or dad might want to strap on the skis. Bait station gone, stainless steel ski pole slots in, and get on with it. Okay, so a little bit more insight in why the Haynes does ride so well. The big flare on the bow is there for one reason, and that's to get rid of the water, to shed the water out sideways. If you don't have a big flare, you're running through rough water, the water's just running straight up the side of the hull, and unless you're going particularly fast, you're wearing it in one place. That's the windscreen or right on the face. So with a big flare, and a nice fine entry, you've got practical tracking in the water, which is really accentuated by our straking system underneath the hull. Now these strakes are not cosmetic, they are there, quite proud, full, which add to the way the boat rides. The slice through the water, um, the strakes run right through to the back of the boat, and the function of those strakes is to keep the boat up level at often a lot lower planing speed than some of the other traditional brands. When you're running the boat in rough water, you back the power off to try and get a comfortable ride, the boat squats down. The Haynes has got a very low planing speed in rough water and calm water. It doesn't have a, a big hole that it's trying to climb out of when it's getting onto the plane. That's all in relation to where the motor's sitting right on the transom and these big planing straights. Getting the boat up, holding it level, adding to the ride. It just gets better. So that's the rundown on the Haynes Hunter SF600 LE. Um, I hope you've enjoyed some of those points. If you'd like to pop down to the shop here in Ellerslie at 50 Crawley Street or call us on Auckland 0957 9961. Bob Morabito or Dennis McCorkendale will be happy to look after you and uh, get you out in the water into that beautiful gulf that we've got.